Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my another Figma tutorial in which I will be teaching you how to create GIFs in Figma which you can use it in any of your projects. So watch the video till the end so that you know how to render and export it to use to use it in any of your projects and yes if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and press the no bell notification so that you'll be updated with all my latest videos. First you have to go to frame and create a frame using the frame tool. After that any SVG images would do. I have taken this from Undraw. The link I'll be providing in the description box from where I have got this illustration. They have beautiful beautiful illustrations and they are free to use. And in Figma you need SVG files that is scalable vector graphics. You need those kind of graphics to edit in Figma and to create animations into it. So I, I'm gonna show you this kind of animation would be like a girl riding a bike. So for that, what you have to do is take the SVG file, download it SVG files into Figma and place it in the frame, which I have already done. After which, what you have to do is that you have to select the frame and go to plugins and go to Figmotion. Figmotion here. Open Figmotion. Now, if you don't have this plugin, what you can do is you can go to community and type here. So, animation. Or you can just type in the community bar Figmotion and see here. It says it's already installed so in case you have not installed you can just press install and install it now let's go back to this after you install it you'll get this here in your plugin section now first we're gonna open the Figmotion and here this is how the interface looks like it's um, very easy now I'm gonna show you how it looks like after you uh, kind of uh, when you do the animation part I'll just play it for you so this is how it looks now to do this what you have to do is you have to you know like uh, rename suppose this wheel this wheel is named as new will and this will is named as will 2 so you have to rename the layer so that it will be easy for you to add animations to it so what I have done is click on will 2 and you can see here some keyframes I have given in the rotation. So you can do the rotation part like press here and you'll get the rotation 0 0. And I have given in the in the 1000 millisecond here I have given minus 45 rotation and here is linear. So press OK. In the new wheel also I have done the same minus 45 and press OK and then to give a little effect to the girl's hair I have created another layer named pony it's ponytail so this is how you see now for that you have to give X and Y positions the X is X axis and Y axis we have to give some position so this is the uh, this is the way how it looks and just press on the keyframe and here you can see it's the position is 196.74 here I have given 200 press ok and in the 1000 millisecond I have given 190 the x value and the y value is 19.41 so which I have altered a little bit so that it appears to be realistic and here I have given the same 19 to come in the same place and to show that it is actually moving I have added some background plants so that when you give a transition to the plants it's actually it actually shows that the bike is moving so in the plant section what I have given, I have just uh, given the y axis that is uh, sorry, the x axis, which is the 
horizontal part so it's just moving so here the position was 314.61 and now in the thousand millisecond I have set the uh, x axis to minus 80 so that when you play just it's just uh, goes in the same way that you want it it's, it's just showing that the bike is moving with like when actually the background is moving and the bike is static with just some rotation to it this is how you do like an animation in figma which is very easy you can apply this to any of your illustrations in whichever way you want you just have to play with the x-axis y-axis with the opacity with the rotation field and although here you can see few things are minimal the animation part but it it works very well for micro interactions for any kind of websites so it's basically very flexible and this software gives you enough access to everything that you need that you need to embed in a website or an app anything 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 of that sort so after you do all the animation part after you give all your values and all what you have to do is you have to go to the render option render option now here you can see it's a gif and i have given enable loop that means it'll play continuously like a gif it won't stop it will give that gif effect you can also you also have many other options you can also export it to mp4 but mp4 would won't like you know the difference between mp4 and gif it will be like just a video playing with no more loops but in gif it will have a loop now here there's an also option of auto download and insert gif so it will be automatically downloaded and it will be inserted in figma so after this when we press the frame rate also we can set I have given the 30 and you can also give some transparency color and you can press render but for you all let me just quickly render it and show you so I'll press render and I won't do auto download I'll change it to 50 and then I'll render it and it's getting rendered so okay now it's being rendered and now to view your last render you have to click on view last render and it will load something like this a very simple animation that I wanted to show which is very very much possible in Figma and after if you want to download it you can just uh, press right click and Mm, you know save images you can save it to your system this is how you can work in figma and uh, create awesome gifs although it has few limitations there are enough other plugins also which helps you in doing this uh, animations but it is very helpful for your any kind of websites or any kind of projects that you are doing so not only you can make use of the gifs in figma but also you can you know export them into other into your other files too so with this i have come to the end of the video i hope you liked it if you really liked it please like my video and share it with your friends and thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye